All right, so uh, this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Uh, with the general tarot reading February uh, 15th up until February 21st, 2021. Um, for those that are new and for all of you guys, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me or uh, you want to take my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website where you can view and purchase either of uh, these services. So uh, moving to the Pisces reading for the week, first card that we do have for you guys, that is to be the Hierophant. Moving next, uh, we have the Tower, followed by the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, that is to be the Death card. And the last one we do have, that will be the Knight of Pentacles. Those five. All right. So, without a doubt, that is going to be rather quite an important week for you. And... Uh, Right at, the, right at the start of it here, Pisces, with the Hierophant card, you are going to start asking questions. And above everything else, you are going to start asking questions to yourself. That is like, uh, for example, a question, why am I enduring all that? You know, or why I am moving forward with this project since I don't see, you know, any benefits. That is, for example, you're going to ask those uncomfortable questions to yourself and uh, to, a, to a large portion of it, you may not gonna be able to find the answer of those questions, but the important, the important work for the Hierophant, the important job there is to acknowledge that you do need answer to certain questions instead of blindly following a choice that you have made back in the past. That is going to be because now with the Hierophant, you're going to start question your, not your belief, but like, what is the word that I should use? Um, your, I would say, okay, so I'm going to say that way. You're going to start question your, your criteria. You're going to start question what you are believing into. Beforehand, you may have believed in a certain individual, you may have placed the huge hopes into, and now that belief starts to faint, and you're going to start questioning that belief, and the questions that you're going to start asking is why that is the case. You know, why I'm still placing a hopes into this individual, that is just for example, when I see that they are betraying my trust time after time after time every single time or same thing could happen in term of a business and uh, realizing that you cannot uh, answer extensively or fully to those questions you're going to start looking for a help and a benevolent support is going to come your way right at the start of the week through which benevolent support you're going to have you're going to lead or rather like have a uh, rather quite profound and deep conversations with which are going to present you with the answers you seek. And you are going to see that these answers are rather very, very simple, that they do exist within the framework of your civilization, within the framework of what you already have. And these answers are going to be simple and generic, as if you don't like what you work, then all the money in the world is not going to make any difference for you. Or if you know, you cannot trust your beloved one, then it doesn't matter how much you love them, you can never have a harmonious relationship. These are going to be the narrative of the answers that you are going to come about. And this is going to be a huge eye-opening for you because right after that, we do have the tower. And the tower for you, it is the, uh, how can I say, it's almost like the judgment card as it comes right after the Hierophant. But this time around, it is like a uh, controlled breakdown. You know, it is a controlled demolishment of a, um, uh, imagine of a building. It's one thing the building to 
to be destroyed and rumbled through a natural disaster, let's say, it's another thing to have a controlled explosion into it. So it doesn't damage anything around. And that is what you are going to initiate into these fields, whether they be friendships, relationships, uh, career endeavors, that you do find the answer why you are, keep up, you are keeping up with it as it doesn't correlate any longer with your beliefs. Now, the whole process is going to be a bit unpleasant, to say the least. That, that is always a cope accompanied with the tower card because everything you have believed in and you have built in, it needs to go. It needs to go down the toilet. But here, as it is here, controlled demolishment or controlled destruction, if I may say it that way, you get to rebuild it back again. So how this is going to develop for you, um, Pisces, that depends severely on what kind of a situation you're facing. But you need to know that with the Tower card, whichever choice you make, should you rebuild it or not, the demolishment of this, what does not correlate any longer with your beliefs, is going to liberate your life to a huge extent. And right after that, you are going to feel like after you have walked out of a chiropractor session where you can actually breathe, you feel light, you feel free, you feel liberated right there after the uh, transformation takes place into your environment. And now that I think of this is going to surprise a lot of people as well. That will be, you know, people will just not see it coming. They, they would not know why you, are not, uh, why you are now acting out of character. But what they don't realize that it is you are acting within your character. It is just so you can uh, align to the situation beforehand that, like I said, stop correlating with your beliefs. You back then were acting out of your character. And uh, needless to say, this is not going to be liked by many people, career-wise or relationship-wise. But at the end of the day, you have to think for your own personal growth. And the Tower card, after the transformation, after the destruction of what doesn't work for you and that doesn't correlate with your beliefs, at, uh, I, a growing period follows right after that. Now I want to touch a little bit another uh, subject here. And the subject, it could be pregnancy. Uh, now, Tarot is not designed to read for health and uh, pregnancy is related to health. But here, if you are trying to conceive, it may happen, how can I say, unpredictably. I, I mean, you may not have, the. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. I think it's the term is... Um, of violation or of labor in Bulgarian is um, ovulatia, ovulation, I, I guess. Okay, and it may happen a little bit earlier than scheduled or a little bit later than scheduled. So uh, my point is that you may you may try and you may think that you're not supposed to have it right now, and it turns out that you do have it. It it, it goes like that, but that is only if you do try to have it, uh, to to have a baby. So. These two cards here, once again, I want to and I want to stress this one enough. These two cards, it is like the readjustment of your belief system into how your life should be, how the relationship you are should be, you are in should be, or you want to be into, and how your career should proceed forward. And that is the forceful readjustment that you are going to make into those uh, into those fields fields. I'm sorry, according to your belief. And right after that adjustment that you are going to incorporate, we do have the Queen of Pentacles that shows up. That could be a person you know or somebody that will be brand new for you. Although the card suggests that it's most likely going to be somebody brand, brand new for you. Queen of Pentacles, these people, they're quite self-absorbed. What I mean is that they don't really give a dime about how somebody suffers or how somebody is, uh, is progressive or you know, is lucrative or happy, etc., etc. All that they care about at that stage, it is their own growth. However, Queen of Pentacles are those kind of people that cannot stand seeing somebody having a potential, not developing that potential at all. And while Queen of Pentacles is highly unlikely, almost unheard of, 
to offer you things, you know, to offer you resources, for example, to address you with, um, with a proposition, to start the work of her company, say, or to make a relationship with her. That is because she does have everything sorted out for her. She doesn't need anything. Okay, and I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be as well a man. What that person is going to do for you is point you what you can develop, what you are good at, okay, and where you do have unrealized, unfound potential that you can build upon and rebuild back the tower, or rather like what you have built beforehand, but this time around, build it much more solidly and much more open for a room and for growth and so on and so forth. So if you have brought down your relationship, this individual would tell you, that is just an example, will, would tell you, you know, what potential you do have to build it up, but this time around, build it up to your image that fits with your belief. So that is something like a, a mentor, guide, um, you know, a counselor as well, if you will. But the Queen of Pentacles does not contrib contribute physically into it. She won't uh, help you with uh, resources, money, if you will. Um, and she won't talk from your behalf as well. It's just she's going to tell you what you need to do. Whether you do it or not, that is entirely your problem. And moving next, what we do have, that is the death card. And this is the seal of the deal that we do have from the previous follow-up. The death card in, in this particular case, that is the urge, and not just only the urge, but as well the necessity to leave the past behind here where, you know, it did not correlate it with your beliefs. And this time around, move into a brand, brand new life, either career life or a either relationship life. Now with the death card here, there are, uh, while you have done the hard part in the Hierophant and in the Tower card, there are still some things that you need that have been left to be tackled with. And these are things in flux into your life and into your environment that simply they can exist, they are there, but still they do not serve any purpose to you anymore. These things could be friendships, you know, that are completely irrelevant to your well-being or to your ill-being, if you will. They are completely irrelevant moving forward. They are just there to consume time. It's all about that. Things that consume time and also energy, but they do not provide anything in return. And those things that are in flux, you are to kind of like uh, scope out and extinguish at that point so you do have even more room you do have even more time to move forward with your life and uh, whatever you have lost bringing down your tower or everything you have built beforehand into the uh, into the situation that these cards are manifesting into it will be replaced with the death card so even if you lose a relationship say and you do not rebuild it the death, card, the death card here, it's a replacement of that relationship with a new one, or the very least with the possibility of a new one. That is going to be a much better in a sense of that it has definitely has a bigger room to grow. Same thing it is from a standpoint of a job. That is because I'm not using here the traditional reader rate, read, uh, reader weight, and in these kind of like a uh, situations. I would like to have it around me so I can explain you better. But if you do imagine the reader weight card, or if you don't know what uh, reader weight tarot is, should you uh, watching tarot for the first time, you can check it out uh, in the web. Just type death reader weight tarot, and you're going to see it there. And what we do have in this card, it is the fourth horseman of a, of the apocalypse, um, facing an emperor. That's uh, and in the feet of the horse. You do have another emperor that that have been that died that, that died, and um, the fourth horseman comes to collect the dead emperor. But you do have a new one. However, the empire stays. Okay, and here you need to look at your empire as your career and as you being romantically involved. Whom with doesn't matter. Okay, the point is your empire is there to stay. And um, in this particular case, it is like, you know, replacement and substitution of the previous lead of the empire you had with the new one. 
And right after these things happen here, which is towards the end of the week, we do have a person that shows up that is Knight of Pentacles again. But this time around, as, um, unlike the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, all that he wants, and I'm saying he because it's a, it's a knight, but it could be as well a woman, all that he wants it is to work with you, either in the emotional field, meaning in terms of relationship, or either into the business field, meaning in terms of partnership. Why? Because Knight of Pentacles, these people know very well what they want, and their sheer appearance on your stage, it is because they want to be there, or in other words, they want to be either with you, or they want to work with you. The thing with them it is that as they know what they really, really want, they don't have any back thoughts. Any back thoughts. They do not, uh, what was the word here? Mm, uncertain. They're not, that's not the word that I should use. Um, they are not reluctant what to do. They are very certain of their actions and they do have a plan. Very simple plan, but very, very effective plan. And um, it's, it's very passable, almost, again, we'll use that term unheard of, if Knight of Pentacles wants to work with you, do not share their, their ambitions, do not share their plans. So this is what they are going to do. They are going to approach you and tell you what they want, tell you how they want it and how they are going to get there, with you, that is. You get to decide, do you want to follow that plan or not? Because ultimately, at the end, it will be... The decision is yours to take but in either case career or relationship that is a king of knights of pentacles they are a very very good match that is because not just only their plan as effective it, it can be changed as well so it can suit you also to a mere perfection but as well knights of pentacles they are very determined in a sense of that their actions speaks louder than words so from them, for example, if that's a, a intimate interaction, you may not hear that they love you, but with every single action, they are going to show it. Unlike the Knights of Cups, because with the Knights of Cups, it's the opposite. You're going to hear all the time that they love you, but they may not act upon it. Not because they don't want to, but because they may not have the plan how to do it. They may not have the opportunity. That's the difference in between these two when it comes to a uh, relationships. And so whatever it is for you, Pisces, hopefully you're going to make a, a right choice and decision here with the Knights of Pentacles, because this one, I would not uh, dare to lose a, whichever cooperation that would be. Of course, if you do have a personal relationship right now and you're happy into it, and uh, with the tower and the hierophant, you know, you kind of like bring down not the entire relationship, but one aspect of it because it doesn't correlate with your belief. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, right? It can be just one aspect of it. And you find yourself very happy into it after that. The Knight of Pentacles most, most likely is going to be a business partner or if it is a relationship partner, well, I don't know, man. I mean, then we do have a love triangle that you get to decide. But in this case, I guess the decision is going to be easy for you. So yeah, that being said, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, Pisces, February 15th up until February 21st, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. And uh, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, but you haven't subscribed, I hope that with this video, I earn your subscription. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.